The aortic valve area is derived from a calculation known as the continuity equation. The continuity equation is based on the idea that the volume of blood passing through the left ventricular outflow tract is equal to the volume of blood that passes through the aortic valve. The volume of flow through an area is equal to the cross-sectional area multiplied by the flow velocity over time. That's the velocity time integral. Therefore, the aortic valve area multiplied by the VTI of the aortic valve equals the left ventricular outflow tract area multiplied by the VTI of the left ventricular outflow tract. The equation can be rewritten so that the aortic valve area equals the left ventricular outflow tract area multiplied by the VTI of the LVOT and divided by the VTI of the aortic valve. Velocity time integral of the aortic valve is obtained by drawing a trace around the waveform. Pulsed wave Doppler is used to record the velocity in the LVOT, normally from the apical five chamber window. The sample volume is adjusted to a position within the LVOT just before the aortic valve. Ideally, an indication of the aortic valve closing click will be visible on the Doppler signal. When correctly sighted, a smooth peaked velocity curve should be seen from which a velocity time integral measurement can be made by tracing around the waveform. The third piece of information needed is a measure of the diameter of the LVOT. This measurement is probably best made at the annulus level where there are clear landmarks, though some prefer to aim for a similar position to where the pulsed wave Doppler recording has been made. In order to improve measurement accuracy, a zoomed parasternal long axis view should be used. Caliper measurements can then be applied to measure from the inner edge to the inner edge of the outflow tract in mid-systole. Ideally, three or more beats should be measured for patients in sinus rhythm, with more used for those in an irregular rhythm. In this example, the LVOT measures 19 millimeters. The left ventricular outflow tract area is equal to pi multiplied by the LVOT diameter divided by 2 squared. The importance of making an accurate measurement at a consistent position within the left ventricular outflow tract is paramount. Since distance values are squared, any measurement errors at this point are magnified. The left ventricular outflow tract area calculation is one of the major pitfalls of this technique. Other imaging techniques have shown that in reality, the left ventricular outflow tract is not circular, but more oval shaped. The potential for errors relating to measurement of the left ventricular outflow tract can be avoided by removing the LVOT cross-sectional area from the continuity equation. Calculation of the velocity ratio or VTI ratio can be performed, and this is known as the dimensionless index. It expresses the size of the valve effective area as a proportion of the cross-sectional area of the LVOT. Velocity ratio is equal to the velocity of the LVOT divided by the velocity through the aortic valve. And the VTI ratio is equal to the VTI of the left ventricular outflow tract divided by the VTI of the aortic valve flow. When there's no stenosis, the ratio should be about 1. A value of less than 1 suggests some degree of stenosis, with severe stenosis present when the ratio is 0.25 or less. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.